Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. I am here with my two little fluffs. This is Tinkerbell and this one is Miko. And we just wanted to wish you a happy new year. It's 2019 now. And I just want to do a quick little pop in and say hello because last year was kind of insane. And uh, for the last few months of the year, I'm pretty sure I dropped off the face of the earth. It has been a crazy busy year. So for 2019, I choose a word of the year for every year. And 2019 for me is going to be focus. So I'm planning on focusing more on things that are important to me things that I really want to get going, like this YouTube channel, etc. So I thought, are you, are you poking me because there, there are not any puppy treats here? Yeah? They're expecting to like open up puppy treats and that's not the case. They're like, the camera's out, we need some food. Um, but what I am planning on doing is every year for New Year's I have a couple of traditions that some are from me, some I've done with my family. And I'm just going to kind of show you what I do with those traditions. So first one is super normal. This is my planner for 2019. Literally all that's in there right now is my name. Um, I've started to add a couple other things, but I love on the first of the year go through and put everybody's birthdays. Um, travel plans that are coming up, just kind of set myself up to know how to plan stuff out. Obviously, with my life being the way it is, it changes a ton, but it's a nice one that I won't like forget birthdays or important events. Um, like I already know I'm going to LA at the end of January, so that's already in here, etc. Number two is one that I have done with my mom for ages, and that is flying wish paper. Flying wish paper is just a little kit, and what we do with it is write everything that we didn't like um, about the previous year on a piece of this flying wish paper. And flying wish paper, you roll it up into a little tube, and then when you set it on fire, it like burns into flames and like flies away, which is very cool. So I, generally speaking, use two pieces of paper. This specific paper, I use one piece and write everything I didn't like about 2018, and I burn that, so that's all of that bad stuff is gone. And then I take another piece of paper and write down my word, or kind of my wish for the new year and I set that intention out into the world and so putting that out into the ether as well. So this particular little sheet, they're um, thicker pieces that you can burn off of and then the little almost like tissue paper that you circle up and flies and I am going to write down two of those sheets and let them burn. And then last but not least, this is actually from Bodhi Tree. They sent me this beautiful little kit, but I have been using a smudge sage stick for years and years and years. But this particular little box has like a whole guide to smudging. Everything in here is sustainable, which I really love. And so I thought using a brand new kit for a brand new year would be perfect because I have lots of smudges and lots of abalone shells all around my house. But this particular set is one beautiful. And so this set comes with the abalone shell, which is kind of like traditionally speaking, the prettiest ashtray you've ever seen. They're fireproof, so a lot of people like to either put sand in it or use this as their ashtray. There is a sustainable turkey feather. Whoa, it's flying at me. There's a little vial of sand. And then the most important part is the sage. So there's sage here, which is um, comes from the Native American cleansing ceremonies. There's Palo Santo, which comes from South American cleansing ceremonies. So more like medicine men and then um, Palo Santo is more shamans in South America. And then there's a little itty bitty seed crystal as well. 
and I will be using that to cleanse. So sage smoke is actually scientifically proven to take airborne bacteria out of the air. And part of the reason why I was non-existent for the last few weeks is I was super, super sick. And so that is a really good thing. I cleansed after I had that sickness, but this is like a good like new year, new energy, clean slate. Now I'm gonna get more into how to sage, etc., in an upcoming video, but I thought I would just give a little like overview of what I'm gonna do um, because Bodhi Tree has a really great like the guide to smudging. And so it says collect your tools and then prepare the bundle. And they get so specific as to saying like what angle to light it at and things like that. Um, for a smudge stick, you light it on fire. Um, you use that smoke to cleanse. So you don't want like a full flame. You want like a flame and then blow it out and then use the smoke. And when the smoke starts to get a little bit less, you start blowing a little bit more. But summon the sacred smoke. Gently blow on the smudge after every rotation around the flame until the smokiness is to your liking. Pour the sand into the shell to protect it from heat and place the lit smudge inside. Gently wave the feather through the smoke. Start by smudging all corners, doorways, sacred objects, and any other areas of your space that you feel need a deep energy cleaning. Close the ritual. When finished, run the feather through the smoke one last time to clear away any energies it made contact with during the smudging. So cleansing both physically and energetically is super important for me, and especially, I know, probably for a lot of you as well, 2018, especially here in America, Lord, um, has been a very interesting year to say the least. So I am looking forward to 2019, kind of putting all of that behind me and starting anew. <laughs> Are you interested in the turkey feather? It's just like your ladies in the back. You see feathers in your backyard every day, but you want the one that came out of the box? Oh my gosh, these dogs are so silly. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. This year, I promise, I am gonna be a lot more regular with these videos. Um, I, as Like I said before, I didn't do resolutions, but if I were to have a resolution, it would be more consistency on this channel, which is part of where the focus comes from. But so we will see you guys again soon. If you have any videos that you would 100% love for me to make, pop those down in the comments below. I read all of those comments even if I don't get to all of them, but I will see you again soon. Happy New Year. Bye.